Hi guys, this is GKCS. We have this question with us today, which is often asked in interviews that you have a linked list with you and you have to detect if there is a loop in it or not. So the very famous solution for this is having a hare and a tortoise with you. So the hare, as you can expect, moves two nodes per iteration. So this is a fast pointer and the second one moves the tortoise moves one node per iteration. Okay, uh, so these two are moving at different speeds. Every iteration, uh, there's an advancement of the hair by two and the tortoise by one. And both of them start at the starting node, which is zero over here. And you can see that they will meet at some given point of time. So the hair will be pointing over here along with the tortoise. What happens is after one iteration, the tortoise is pointing here and the hair is over here. After two iterations, the tortoise is pointing where the hair was, but the hair is inside this loop and now it's pointing over here. After three iterations, you have the tortoise pointing here and the hair is pointing here. And after four iterations, the tortoise points to node four and the hair jumps two and points along with the tortoise at node four. So if this condition ever happens, if the tortoise and the hair are pointing to the same node, that means that there is a loop. You know, logically, it would have been impossible for the tortoise and hair to be pointing at the same node if they're moving at different speeds. The hair should have been far ahead. And so if they are pointing at the same node, then there's a loop. If the hair is pointing at where the tortoise is pointing, then you report a loop. Otherwise, if the hair ever reaches the end of the list, then you report no loop. So this algorithm is pretty simple and it works for a reason. You have the tortoise moving at you know just one iteration uh, per one, one node per iteration. So the total number of nodes that the tortoise is moving is n after n iterations, and the total number of moves uh, nodes that the hair has moved is two n after n iterations. Now you can see that the tortoise and the hair could have been going around in circles in this uh, in this loop. So this quantity is equal to, let's say this part of the list, this part, which does not consist of the, the loop is D in size. Okay. So in fact, this part is D in size. And the point at which they meet each other is K. So this part, these two nodes, these three nodes in fact, is equal to k. That's the distance k. So n would be equal to d plus k plus some number of cycles. So the length of the cycle c into how many? Well, we don't know. So we call that i. So i loops were made by the first tortoise and the hair is moving the same distance d plus it met at k so it has, has moved that distance of k plus c it has also made some loops around but it might have made more loops so that is j for us right so these two equations tell us the amount by which uh, the two pointers have been moving now if you subtract these two equations, so subtract this equation from this one, then you get n equal to d and k cancel out, your c into j minus i. And what does that tell you? It tells you that you need to have an n, that needs to exist an n, because this is of your choosing, such that that is equal to c into j minus i. And j minus i can be any integers, c is a constant. So 
this equation needs to have solutions and you know that it's true because uh, you can choose any arbitrary n such that this condition is true okay so our hypothesis of having a hair and a tortoise moving around and then finally meeting each other is true so this is a solution for finding out if there is a loop or not the more complicated question actually is if there is a loop tell me what is the start of the loop okay so let's find that out so you have these two equations and we are going to be substituting the value of n using the first equation so that will be 2 into d plus 2k plus 2i into c this is equal to RHS D plus K plus J into C. What you end up having is if you take these terms in LHS, you have D plus K plus 2i minus J into C equal to 0. So that gives you D plus K equal to J minus 2i into C okay and two years ago I was asked the same interview question at Morgan Stanley and I came up to this point but I couldn't think ahead so you need a key insight over here what you need to realize is that d plus k is this distance d and this distance k so I, I've changed the notations a little bit because this gives you the right answer so and if you think of it logically k is the extra distance that you move from the start of the of this loop and d is the distance up to the loop so these are the right terms that we have d plus k is equal to j of j minus 2i into c and changing these two uh, terms is not going to change our original answer of is there a possibility if you have a hair and a tortoise running and a meeting point those equations still hold in fact these two are the exact equations that we had then also so let's come back to the real question uh, d plus k equal to so on and so forth so what does this mean if you have a pointer at the start and it moves d plus k that means it moves d this distance plus k this distance so it will end up at the meeting point similarly if you start at the meeting point and you move d plus k that is equal to moving around in circles for some amount of time so this point can be ignored c is very important to understand this is a multiple of c which is the length of the loop and that means that you'll be moving around in loops and ending up at the meeting point so after d plus k iterations you'll end up right here okay what does that tell us so if you start from the start or you start at the meeting point both cases if you move by d plus k you end up at the meeting point what we want is the starting point of the loop so let's move just d nodes d is equal to by this equation j minus 2i into c minus k okay so from the start if you move d nodes you're going to end up here and from the meeting point if you move d nodes you're going to end up after making c cycles so you're going to make cycles except on the very last cycle you're going to fall short by k nodes this is very important you're going to fall short by k nodes what does that say you're going to fall short by k nodes so you'll end up over here if k was equal to 2 you're going to fall short by 2 nodes to the to the meeting point again so that will be over here and if you start from the starting node you will end up over here so if you have these two pointers p1 and p2 and you move them one by one for a certain number of time the moment they meet each other which is this point is the start of the loop that's what this equation means so take your time get your head around it if you move d nodes that's the only time when these two pointers are meeting if that's the shortest time by which these two pointers are meeting and therefore we take one node at the start p1 move it to the right one by one and we take another point of p2 
and move it around this loop one by one and when they do meet up over here that's when we know that we have moved d nodes and that's when we know that we have actually reached the start of the loop Lure. Lure. So this was an interesting question. I finally found the solution after a couple of years. So uh, in case you have any doubts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be sharing one relevant link in the description below. So until next time, see you.